Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to walk you through that how to set up the Django REST framework inside the Visual Studio Code and then we will create our first simple REST API for our real estate project. So by the end of this video, you will have a fully working REST API where you can create, read, update and delete property information. And we will also add authentication so only the authorized user can access the data. So let's grab your coffee and let's dive into my computer screen. Okay, so first let's set up our environment for that I have open Visual Studio code inside the terminal let me make the directory of this uh, folder that is called real estate API and after that creating the directory inside the directory let me make the virtual environment so that all the dependencies and the files are stay isolated for this project so by writing this command my virtual environment will be initiated and to activate the virtual environment I will write this command for the windows and after clicking this, we can see that query signal is giving us that the virtual environment is activated. Now let me create the Django admin start project and let me call this project a config. And this dot is uh, just representing that we will create the project inside the same directory. And let me first run the server and see what's happening. Oops, we have done something wrong. We have forgotten to install Django at Django REST Framework. My bad. So first let's install it. Pip install Django and then Django REST Framework. And after writing this command, our Django and Django REST Framework will be installed. Okay, our framework has been installed and let me start project again by writing the same command. Okay, now let's run the server and see if our project has been starting or not. So by clicking the control button and this specific link, we will see that our Django app is successfully running. Now let's go back and open the folder that we have just created. And inside the folder, we'll check all the files. We have setting.py, we have manage.py and everything. And we have this config project. And okay, we have some unapplied migration as well. So let's run this command that is Python manage.py migrate. We have applied all the migration. And after applying all the migration, we will do what? We will run the server and see if it's working fine. It is working fine, right? Now our next step is to go in inside the terminal and start our new Django app by writing this Django management by start app properties. Okay, our app name is properties and app is, has been created now. Now we will go inside the app or whenever we make any app in Django, we need to add this app name in Django install app settings.py. So inside the settings.py, let me add the name of this app, which is properties. Okay, after adding the app inside the properties, we'll create our first model. So inside properties model.py, I define a class property. This model will represent each property in a real estate system. The model includes fields such as title for the property name, a description for details, a price using Django decimal field so we can store accurate monetary values, a location field and a boolean field called is available to check if the property is available or not. Finally, I define the str method to return the title whenever a property object is printed making it easier to identify okay once the model is ready we will make all the migration by writing python manager by migrate so that all the files of the migration will be saved on the database and after that we will make the serializer.py file which is how the django rest framework converts our model objects into the json format and vice versa so inside this file i am importing from rest framework the serializer and then from the model i am importing the property class that we have just created in the property model so here i am making one class that is property serializer that inherits from the model serializer in the meta class i specify that the model is property and that we all we want all the fields to be serialized for that i am setting fields into the all okay this means that every field in the model like title description price so on will be included in the json responses okay now that we have serializer we can create our views now so inside the properties views.py i am importing the django rest framework importing render and then from the model i am importing the property and from the rest framework i will be importing the generic and then from the um, i guess from the serializer we need to import the property serializer okay 
Now I define the property list create class that inherits from the list create API view. This automatically gives us the get and the post methods. Okay, I set the query set to all the properties in the database and the serializer class to the property serializer. For handling a single property, I define another class called property detail that inherits from the retrieve update destroy API view. This gives give us the get, put, patch, and delete methods for individual properties again using the same serializer. By these generic views, we don't have to manually code each method. Django REST framework provides the logic for us. Now we need to wire up the URLs. Inside the properties app, I create the new file called urls.py. Here I imported the Django path function along with the two, view, two views we have just created. Property list, create view and the property detail. Then I define the URL patterns, one for the properties which maps to the property list create view and another for the property int.pk which maps to the property detail view. Okay, after this, the int.pk means that the URL will take a property ideas as a parameter. Finally, inside the main config urls.py, I include the properties using under the prefix API. So now when we go API properties slash, we'll get the property list. And then we go to the API property slash one, we'll get the property list with the ID one. Now let's move to the authentication and make sure API is secure. So to do that, I first go into the settings.py file inside the config folder and under the REST framework settings, I added the authentication and permission classes. I set the authentication to use both session authentication and basic authentication. And for the permission, I set it into the is authenticated. This basically means that any user trying to access our API must be logged in first. So with the authentication in place, the next step is to create the super user key. I open terminal and rewrite Django manage.py create user and it will ask me for the username, email and password. Once they that done, my super user key is ready. Now I restart the server and head over to the Django admin page at Django admin. This is a place where we can manage all our models, including the property models we just created. But when I logged in, I noticed that my property model wasn't showing up there. That's when I realized that I, I, I hadn't registered it into the admin.py. So I went back into the VS code, opened my admin.py file, imported my property model there and registered it. And after that, I ran the server again, save everything. And now I could see my property model in the panel. I added with all the details, um, like I added all the properties with the details, but I'm like randomly adding right now. After doing that, let's migrate our, all the files that we have just created. And um, let's just um, see what is our migration properties files status. And after that, let's run the server and see if it's working. But here, after running the server, I got template does not exit error. Why? Because I haven't added REST framework installed inside the install app. Added it, save it run the server again and route the API property and then I could get it here. So here you can see we can get the data we have created in the database and now we, I am creating another data because I am an authorized user here. I can create, put and patch. In the next video, we will learn how to test these all in the Postman. So stay tuned for that. It is going to be a very important video. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more coding tutorials and comment if you want me to expand this playlist into the fully featured real estate app and i'll see you in the next one bye bye